So the fourth thing that I did in the year of dreams 2019 in our first week are the little journaling prompts that come that go with the creative dream alchemy experiment. So they're asking more about um, what was happening as you were working with stability, which was our quality for this week. So each week, you know, you're going to get a different experiment and then each week you'll get different prompts that ask you something about the experiment. I did intend for you to do these prompts at least a couple days later, but of course you're always free to do everything however feels right for you or however just fits into your, your schedule in any given week. But what I was thinking with these prompts is that a couple days after the alchemy process, you just kind of re revisit it, ask the questions, kind of remember, reflect on, okay, how, what was happening with me in this quality? How was it feeling then? How is it feeling now? What's happening um, with what happened in that experiment? What, what am I learning from all of this? You know, when you do the experiment, sometimes it needs a couple days to marinate and then you start to see it differently. You start to be able to get different answers and, and ideas and insights from it. So that is the entire point of these prompts, just to dig in and explore a little more. So of course, if the prompts inspire you to kind of write something different that's not a direct answer to the prompt, that's always okay. Remember, they are little diving boards to dive off into your own process. So whatever feels important to you as you reflect on the Creative Dream Alchemy uh, experiment each week, that's what's important for you to explore. So for me, as I looked at like um, the first one was what changes when you give your dream more stability. One thing was interesting and I just, um, when I'm coloring and playing around with the journal, I'm not trying to make it look a certain way. I'm always trying to just go with what I'm feeling in the moment. And um, I brought out the rainbow colors and I love rainbows. I tend to do those when I'm feeling happier about things. And it's like remembering that when I first started with stability, this jar first was brown um, to me, kind of the opposite of a rainbow. Although I mean, brown has a beautiful color, like the color of earth, but, but it was just feeling kind of stuck and resistant. And then now I'm in the bright rainbow. So that was kind of neat just to see, notice how um, my relationship with exploring this quality has changed after the experiment. Um, so what I wrote is, uh, when I so what changes when you give your dream stability? It helps me trust um, trust myself more and trust my dream more. So that's not really about my dream at all. It's about me and my relationship with my dream, which I was seeing that right away when I did the experiment. But a few days later, that just felt even more true, even more obvious. Um, and I wrote about like feeling calmer and like everything that comes when you trust yourself more being able to take baby steps and not have to like figure everything out but just feeling calm and trusting and just doing what's in front of me to do relaxing about it um, and I wrote about how I feel more inspired and like I can work from a deeper place so the stability brought me to a new place so it's a pretty small shift what I'm hoping for in the year is that like 52 weeks of small shifts really makes more space inside of you um, to be more you <laughs> to connect more with your gifts to connect more with your your dreams and your sense of purpose and possibility so all of the qualities that we work with all year are qualities of spirit they're they're not meant to lead you towards any particular thing except more into your own truth and then the other question was about um, the the jar of st stability, and I, it was cool to reflect on it because, like, when I first did it, I felt a lot of resistance, and I didn't feel that comfortable to meet with stability. I was, actually felt bored, which is a real sign of um, resistance. <laughs> and just noticing how now it feels so much clearer how uh, stability is just this really nourishing quality, and it actually opens up. Uh, new possibilities. It felt like a new doorway opened up to a whole new world of me working more connected to myself. So um, yeah, so doing these prompts a couple days after the experiment or um, whenever you have time to do them just really helps you kind of process what happened and pull out the parts that were important to you. So the parts that I'm sharing here that, that were important to me may not resonate with you at all, right? But it's about pulling out 
really noticing the parts that are important for you and your process.